pointers. Today is the day. Are you excited? Like seriously, Mew? In all of my years of ever playing the handhelds, I've never caught a Mew, I've never seen a Mew, I've only ever seen Mew in the animes. This is like a childhood dream come true. Well, like second childhood dream come true. First one was Transformers, technically, and don't give me flack. But for real, Mew here, Okay, so first off, I woke up from a dream of none other than Mew this morning. And as Professor Willow said, its natural habitat is a jungle. So of course we were like in a jungle and whatnot. And it was really like fuzzy and not really clear and I could hear water. So it got me thinking when I woke up, uh, if, if Mew's here and he's in a jungle-esque area and there's water, there's really only like one place that he could be hiding out. But before we get into that gig, let's recap our mythical discovery tasks. So the first objective was to spin five Pokestops, transfer five Pokemon, and catch 10 Pokemon. The next objective was earning two candies while walking your buddy, making 10 great throws, and then hatching three eggs. The third objective was pretty simple. It was reaching level 13, battling in two gyms, and battling in two raids. The fourth one was evolving 20 Pokemon, which was pretty simple, earning that silver Kanto medal, which most of us already have, and then earning five candies while walking your buddy, where most of us switch to a Magikarp. The fifth objective and what seems to be the probably hardest one most people encountered was catching a ditto, making 20 great throws, and then catching 10 ghost type Pokemon. The sixth objective, which was the hardest for me, evolving a Magikarp, battling in 10 raids, and then reaching level 25, which was easy peasy. Now we are on step seven, where we have to catch 50 Pokemon with a berry, make one excellent throw, which we've already completed, and then earn a gold Kanto medal. And after we go on our search today, we should complete those final five catches that I have to do with a berry, and we should be able to find Mew. Like I said, if my thinkings are correct from my dream, he should be somewhere near down the waterfront. But, I mean, it's just a dream. But this is just so surreal, like Mew here, and I'm finally getting a chance to go out and catch it. Like, this is just crazy. So, without further ado, let's go get that Mew.
you know, as I said, this is a dream come true. Growing up where Pokemon was a luxury and a secular item for me, according to my parents, Digimon was more fitting. Digivolution made more sense than evolution. Let's not even go there. But it honestly made me love the game even more. Every time I actually got to play it, I was so much more into playing it than had I got the opportunity to play it every day. And now, now as an adult, a 29-year-old man, I'm reliving those adventures in my own hometown. Traveling as far as I can to become the strongest Pokemon trainer I can become. From all of the evolutions, the hatchings, the raids, all of my hard work. It seems I finally get to catch Mew. So we're down at the waterfront. Uh, Pony Utah just ran from me. I haven't seen any glimpse of Mew yet. And if you don't know, the Kanto event is going on right now. I don't know if you can even hear me because of the train, but with all of the people down here on such a nice day, I don't think Mew's gonna be down here exactly. So my first thought was wrong. The only other place I can think of that has a lot of trees and water It's raining in the game right now. It's not raining. I hope it doesn't start to rain. But let's continue on with our new venture. And I think I know where to find him. Okay, we are down here at Marina Park now. And as you guys can see, very jungle-esque and the water's right over there so hopefully this is where we will find Mew I mean I mean I've done a lot of adventures down here so to me it kind of makes sense that towards the fort is where we were getting findings of him and maybe down here is where he actually is because it is very secluded it is very quiet Mew is known to be very elusive and very quiet so Hopefully he's here.
Professor Willow said, Mew only shows itself to those who are pure of heart and have a strong desire to see it. My heart is pure and I want to see it. Will I see it? Am I pure? Am I worthy? No, stop. Yes, of course I am. We all are. See, that's what I'm trying to do here. To prove, to show, and share that we're all worthy. We all put in this work, all this time, all these Pokeballs, all the friends we've made along the way, and every experience we've had. We are Master Pokemon Trainers, and I am worthy. Do you agree? Do you think Mew agrees? like one of the most secluded places I can think of. Not the prettiest. But secluded and quiet and all my own. So let's check in with the professor and see what is up. First, we're gonna turn on a lucky egg because I don't want to be stupid. And a star piece. We're gonna claim these last rewards claim our ultimate reward, 20 great balls, or 20 ultra balls, 4,000 stardust, which will be 8,000, I think. We found Mew. Awesome. This is an experience to remember forever. Where? Like right here? Now you can see why I love studying Pokemon so much. The whole world is out there to discover. Go have some fun. My assistants and I will request special research from you in the future. Stay in touch. Is this it? Oh my gosh. And there it goes invisible. All right, let's have some fun. Okay, now that we've had our fun, 
Now comes the real fun. Doesn't give you any berries or anything. Okay, right on the noggin. Popped out. Throwing it too far. Difficult. Congratulations to us. <sighs> we'll see you next time.